Hello guys, today we're going to check it out the DEF leveling unit. This one that you're watching right now belongs to a Volvo truck, and uh, this design is from 2015 and above. And today we're gonna take a closer look what you need to know about it and this part i'm pretty sure is you cannot see it that often so let's start saying that as you can see the l shape right is the same design from for other trucks that's what i believe because so far freilander has the same shape and Volvo has the same shape. I have seen uh, Cummins has the same thing. So I guess uh, in general manufacturers has the same design. Now let's take uh, a closer look to the first thing you can actually see without removing it. That is the top part. Uh, as you can see, this is these are two D E F lines. These are the coolant lines, uh, they call it water. And as you can read in here, one says backflow and the other one says to pump unit. This one, this wire in the middle belongs to the leveling unit. This other wire you see on the side belongs to the DEF temperature sensor, right? inside the tank and now we're gonna take a, a closer look down here and first thing you can notice in here is that there's a hole because this is for the return line or they call it backflow because they're the same thing and we have the other line that goes to the pump unit and we're gonna follow it to see where it goes see let's follow it and it ends in the DEF filter this one protects the pump and it just uh, it, your tank has uh, dirt or a couple things like that you might hold it uh, I don't know if they recommend to change it uh, in general we already tried like two times to replace just the filter itself but the, the dealers say they don't sell it which is uh, like really and and that's it there's nothing you can do about it if they don't have it you have to wait like a couple days for it uh, now that we know what is this we're gonna follow the other line you see this other line here okay goes way down to the tank the bottom of the tank actually and you see this part in here all this part this one is the def temperature sensor and as you can see in here it has something like a you see it seems like an airline but it's not actually it goes the wires goes inside over there and uh, you can actually twist this one and remove it uh, but the only reason right we replace the this leveling unit is because it has a problem with the DF temperature sensor it says it has like a, a short circuit or something related to that and the bad thing is like uh, we have to replace the whole thing even if nothing is broken on it, it's just because the sensor itself. And might be possible to replace the sensor, but I don't think so the dealer is gonna sell it just by itself. They're gonna tell you, oh, you had to replace the whole DEF leveling unit, which many people say really. But let's continue. All right, we have uh, this is the the leveling unit. As you can see, it slides up and down the same way like uh, your fuel uh, sending unit and this is the wire on the top now 
as you notice, there's a small box in here. All right, let me put this down so we can take a closer look. And I already opened this box before, and there's just uh, like four wires, two in here and another two in here. And there goes all the way in here in this plug that you need to untwist, all right? And this one goes directly to the uh, ACM harness, NCM harness, sorry. And the good thing about these designs, like uh, you don't have to worry about uh, replace only one single part. You have to replace everything, okay? And uh, for example, if this job runs about 400 plus another let's say 200 for labor it will run you around 700 if you include the def you had to drain the whole tank and as always if you're planning to do this job let them know that you want to clean your def tank and other small things that you want to check it out there is a crack with the def tank you might be able to replace it and those sort of things so this is why you need to know about the def leveling unit that's the way it works all right you see it slides it has a def filter inside and it has a def temperature sensor and right now we're gonna check it out how it looks only the top part in the freelanders this def leveling unit belongs to a uh, Cascadia 2019 and as you can see it doesn't look too different compared to the older designs seems like Freilander has kept this design for around nine years by now and let's check it out what's going on in here you can see this is the coolant valve the one that let it pass coolant through we have the coolant ports here and here. This is for the leveling to know the level of the DEF and the temperature inside the tank. Okay, that's the job of this part in here. We have the DEF ports, one from the suction side and the other one for the return. And the harness is a bit different because it, it doesn't have anymore the plastic part instead it comes with a, a tape and the same goes for this one and the harness goes behind the tank instead to go on the side one of the common problems with the leveling units uh, DEF leveling unit is the coolant itself because when the part underneath breaks, the coolant leaks inside the tank. And sometimes drivers say, oh, I have a coolant leak, but I cannot see it. And this might be the cause. What you need to do is with a flashlight, check it out inside the tank. Uh, Volvo has a, a screen in here. Uh, you can take it off and with a flashlight you can see if there is any stain or coolant inside if you see other color that's not transparent then it means yeah you have intrusion uh, of coolant in there so other problems that I have seen uh, with the mirroring units it's like uh, sometimes uh, this uh, the hoses around here breaks yeah especially this one since they're plastic right uh, this is this I believe is just for Freilanders I never seen this in Volvo's but in Freilanders yeah I have seen this hose breaks and you had to replace it and sometimes this part the o-ring leaks or the actually the coolant valve itself start leaking and the bad thing about about that problem is like you had to replace the whole thing so that's a really that's a really really bad 
uh, issue the Freelander has with this. But uh, I could, I could, I can tell that maybe they fail after probably maybe six or seven years in service, because in here many trucks I have seen they start you know leaking after ooh, like seven hundred thousand miles probably. So that's one of the issues, guys. That's two issues: coolant leak inside and this hose is in here and the coolant valve. Uh, that's all what I have for you today guys if you have any questions leave it in the section below and I'm gonna try to answer you as soon as possible thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye